This video will review place value and digits. When we write a number using digits, we call it a numeral. For example, the numeral 43 has two digits. It has a 4 in the tens place and a 3 in the ones place. Let's make it on the place value mat using base 10 materials. I need 3 in the ones place. So I'm going to take three base 10 blocks and put them here. It has a four in the tens place. That means I need four tens rods in the tens place. Once I've made it using base 10 materials, I can also show the information as numerals to make sure that I've done everything correct. One, two, three ones. On the ten side, I count by tens. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. I have forty, which is four groups of ten. Forty plus three together makes forty-three, which is the numeral I have here. I've represented the number forty-three as a numeral here and as base ten blocks on my mat. It's important to remember that the ones place and the tens place only ever have one digit when we write them as numerals. We're going to try a challenge together to review this important rule. First, I need to clear my mat. Anytime I start a new activity with base 10 materials, I need to clear everything off. I'm going to get rid of my ones, I'm going to get rid of my tens, and I'm going to get rid of my writing. Now I'm ready for the challenge. We're going to use a handful of units. Let's count them to see what number they represent. As they are units, I've put them all in the ones place. I'm going to count by twos because it was faster. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Right now I've made the number 16 with units. But did you remember our important rule? Each place value can only have one digit, which means on a place value mat, it can only have up to nine manipulatives. So what next? How can we still show this number correctly? Well, we can trade 10 ones for 1 10. Let's try. I can make these into a rod. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. These are the same as 110. So I can trade 10 ones for 110. You say that. Trade 10 ones for 110. Since I'm trading, I need to put these over here and away. Now I can add what I've traded to my mat. Let's check to see if I have nine or less manipulatives in each place value spot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six is less than nine. I only have one group of ten, which is the same as saying I have ten. Ten plus six equals sixteen. So I can show the numeral 16 by writing it as digits, and I can show or represent the number 16 by using base 10 blocks. Remember, it's important to have nine or less manipulatives in each place value spot. You try this if you have some base 10 blocks near you. 
grab a handful of units and try trading 10 ones for 110 if you have more than 9 units in your ones place. Good luck!